With the YouTube monetization goal being more achievable than ever, it's no wonder why everyone's making a huge effort this year. But even with that said, did you know approximately 1.75% of channels have at least 10,000 subscribers? Yeah, I thought that would be higher too. All of us start at the bottom, but a few make it to the top. Today we're gonna to be looking at five YouTubers you may know and checking out their first video. This is gonna show you that no matter what, we all start from somewhere. These five people have put countless hours on this platform and in return are living very comfortable. If you're someone that wants to take this YouTube thing very serious, it's gonna be up to you to make that decision and say, I'm gonna to start today. But with no further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this video. You can't make one of these videos and not talk about Mr. Beast. With 254 million subscribers on his main channel, he's became a powerhouse when it comes to creating content. From jaw-dropping challenges to sitting in his room counting to 100,000, it's crazy to think that it all started with this one video. Jeez, where am I? What just happened? What did he say? From Saul, before you can advance, you must flip every switch and kill all the monsters that come out. I'm not afraid of Saul's little traps. Can't hurt me. Some of the zombies aren't even touching me, they're so confused. 12 years later and 791 videos, and he's probably one of the most, if not the most well-known YouTuber up to this date. Let me ask you guys something. Do you know how many videos it took him to get 10,000 subscribers? Just 10,000 subscribers? I mean, I think I have over 450 videos on this channel. I, um, I've put a lot of time into this channel and I'm glad people are enjoying my content. I'm glad people are liking my videos. It's just, I just want to let you know, if you've ever watched any of my videos, it means the world to me. And just so you know, I read every comment. I don't reply to every comment anymore because of basketball and school. I don't really have free time except for on the weekends. But I do read every comment. It gets, I get a notification on my phone every time someone comments. So just, you know, I just wanted to let you guys know that. I don't know if everyone knows that. And thank you. Looks like I have some catching up to do. But if you believe it, you can achieve it. Got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. It's kind of annoying sometimes when you buy something at Walmart. Yeah. And uh, you leave it out and the dude's hey, and needs to see your receipt. Uh, well, it's annoying. You go through the checkout line, you walk through, you just pay for it. They're right there staring, looking at you the whole time. Yeah. And then you come, can I please see your receipt, sir? Those people are old, man. They can't see farther than 20 feet. And have some respect. Most of the, many of them people are retired military. The Hodge Twins. Keith and Kevin began their YouTube career in the late 2000s. I ran into these guys back in the early 2010s, mostly due to fitness and me trying to get my weight up. Although they gave great advice, I couldn't stop laughing at some of the stuff they said. I only got one slice cause, cause we cut. I'm gonna get ripped. <laughs> and let me tell you, it worked out great for me. Even though they have more than one channel, I'm gonna focus on their main one, the Hodge Twins. With 3.6 million subscribers, it has taken them to places that they couldn't even imagine. Not only do they do YouTube, but they also do stand-up comedy as well. Let's check where it all began. Hey Leon, man, get up, man. I'm pissing on my ass, man. You gotta love it, man. For their first video, that wasn't too bad. I don't watch them as much as I used to, but it's cool to see them giving back to their community. Look at all these winners. In Maplewood, New Jersey on December 3rd, 1993, Marquez Keith Brownlee was born. Also known as MKBHD, Marquez started recording videos while he was in high school, focusing on new products and reviews. From 2009 to 2012, he gained a remarkable 100,000 subscribers, and as of today, he has over 18 million. With an estimated net worth of 45 million, let's check out and see what his first video was on YouTube. I'm back. Nice ball. Enjoy. A simple golf swing. <laughs> let's look at another video. Alright, welcome to my first video. Um, bought a new laptop, and I... 
it's an HP Pavilion DV7T. So of course I got the Media Center remote with it. Quite a nice remote. So um, <coughs> fits into the little express card slot on the side of the laptop, which I'm recording this on right now. And so I'm going to do a very, very short review of it. Obviously I can't show you what it does on the screen because I'm recording it on the laptop, but um, I'll get into that later. Now I love this. Not because the video itself, but because it gives a great example on how someone that had an idea Press record and started talking. It has led him to the point where he is today, and he has stayed consistent for years. 1.6 thousand videos later, and he's living any tech reviewer's dream. Do you love playing video games? Are you tired of walking away from 12 hour gaming sessions feeling entertained yet unfulfilled? Do you want to know more about the games you love without having to put in any work of your own? We have created Game Theory, gaming's tangential learning experience. Alright, next we have Matthew Robert Patrick, also known as Matt Pack. Creator of the series Game Theorist has gained a massive following of over 44 million subscribers, with a total of 8 billion views. He is most well known for covering Five Nights at Freddy's a survival horror game released in 2014. This channel being created in 2009 is definitely one of the OGs of YouTube. So let's check out what the first video was. No going back for anyone. It's too late now for feeling torn. There's a pact been sealed. There's a deal been born. What did we have to do that for? Mrs. J, no one must ever know about this. Therefore, we have to have an agreement. Right. Shopping! Shopping! How quickly those who've made a pact can come to overlook the fact, or wish the reckoning be delayed. But a debt is a debt, and must be paid! You can see, he definitely has some background in performing, which led him to finding what works for him. MatPat recently announced his retirement from YouTube. Last but definitely not least is Felix Kelberg, also known as PewDiePie. Created his YouTube channel in 2010. It was primarily focused on Let's Plays. Some of y'all might even know him from being the most subscribed channel at one point. Although he's semi-retired, he still posts to this day with a variety of content. So let's see where it all began. <laughs> I think he wants to hug. <laughs> if you made it to the end, I just want to say thank you very much. I'm a small YouTuber myself with goals set in mind. Something I've seen overall is consistency is key. You might like the quality right now, but over the time of quantity, you'll build that quality. And as long as you try to get 1% better in each video, you'll see your channel grow in no time. But that's it for today. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. You guys have a good one. Stay safe as always, and I'll see you next time. Peace.